by Marita Koch of East Germany, the American record held, of course, by the woman who has dominated the event in the United States for the past five years, Evelyn Ashford. Ashford, already the winner of the 100-meter dash in this meet, now tries to complete the double. She'll be running in lane six. She had a very fast semifinal, but she could be pressed in this race by the two women to the inside of her. The one in the middle is Chandra Cheeseborough. You may remember when she was 17 years old on the 76 Olympic team in Montreal and made the 100-meter final. She had a faster 200-meter semifinal here than Evelyn Ashford. And to the right of her, that's Florence Griffith, who was the NCAA champion in this event a year ago and won the NCAA 400 meters this year. Some believe that this is Ashford's best event she glides toward the tape rather than charging toward it. The rest of the field in lane one, Gervais McCraw, lane two, Donna Dennis, lane three, Alice Brown, Griffith, Cheeseboro, and Ashford in the middle of the track. Grace Jackson is in lane seven, Randy Gibbons in eight, and LaShawn Ned in nine. And as they come out of the blocks, you will watch around the turn. Evelyn Ashford already making up the stagger on the runner outside of her. Cheeseboro does not appear to have a great start, nor does Florence Griffith. But now as they come to the stretch, Cheeseboro does appear to have drawn even with Ashford. And it is Ashford and Cheeseboro battling down the stretch. Evelyn's going to get a test of her competitive will here. She leans in and she's got it. For the fifth time, Evelyn Ashford has won the 200 meters. Once again, she won both the 100 and 200 here, and there again can be no question as to who is the top American woman sprinter. Coming off the turn into the straightaway, Evelyn Ashford in the middle of the screen has a slight advantage over Chanda Cheeseboro on her left. And when you have about 70 meters left, there's a lot of runners that tend to tighten up and get tense. But Evelyn Ashford doesn't do that. She's illustrating that same perfect graceful form and body lean that she did in winning that 100 meters. And right now, with about 15 meters left, Chanda Cheeseboro is very close to her, and Evelyn is preparing to lean at the tape to try to win this race. And that's why she's America's greatest sprinter today. And now Evelyn is ready to talk with Diana Nyad on the infield. Evelyn, another national title for you. Congratulations. When you come into the big meets, do you favor the 100 or the 200, or do you want to get the 100 out of the way before you get to it? My favorite race is the 200, but you really have to be in shape for that race. So, I like the 100, too. It's, it's fast and it's over fast, so I like that, too. You were very close to a uh, beautiful time tonight. Did you know? No, I didn't. <laughs> I wasn't loose enough for this race. I felt strong, but I couldn't relax and just let it flow. When everybody else is scrambling that last 10 meters, you, you lengthen it out. You're very smooth. You don't get panicked. It's my training, I think. Uh, my coach tries to make me very strong near the end. So it's my training. <laughs> Continue to command all of our respect. Congratulations. Ashford's time of 21.88 is the third fastest of all time in the United States. She's for a second, 